one of the three sixty federal constituencies that we have. And we are proud to say that ours is one that is massive, both in terms of human capacity, both in terms of industrial uh, 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 placements, and um, and in terms of the federal government generating its revenues. So if you have that, if we have all those in one federal constituency, my thought and our th the thought of my constituents is that we should also have commensurate federal government presence in that federal constituency. We are, if not the largest, one of the largest federal constituencies where you have the largest and the highest concentra some concentration of industries in the nation. And with those industries come revenue generation to the post of the Federal Republic. With those industries and development also come health hazards. With those come provision of road where there is none, and it is also still part of the problems that is there. But we have taken, chosen now to take health first. We do not have a federal medical center. If you look at the um, a, a report that has been circulated about 24 hours ago that talked about um, largest cities and cosmopolitan areas that we have in the nation. My federal constituency is there. It's at least number four. One of the other in my federal constituency, not even taking Adodo, which is the other one into it. It's like number four there in the nation. So all those have brought us to say that we will need a federal medical center because of the developments that we have in my federal constituency. And that is why I want to thank both the speaker and my other colleagues for allowing it to scale through the second reading and um, hopefully very soon uh, the, the, the committee that is um, saddled with the responsibility of um, making it work will get that done. And um, my constituents will heave a sigh of um, relief that we will at least have a medical center that will at least take charge of whatever uh, negatives that comes from industrialization.